Hello and welcome to Optimistic Wellness. I'm Josh Lipovetsky. Today's post is going to be about an argument for religion. And it's basically going to go against arguing against religion. Double entendre there. So let's take the example of a suicide bomb. And his mom most likely encouraged him that there's a God out there that's that wants you to kill yourself and kill people who aren't like you in order to get the greatest religious honor. And the atheistic side, the atheistic reasoning for that is if we eliminate religion, that won't happen because there will be no God to tell them that. But that simply is not true. That's not the case. If religion was eliminated, You've still got a violent subculture. You've still got violent values in, passed down from generation to generation. If it's not going to be religion, it's going to be something else. Culture, ethnicity, person likes PC over Mac, anything. So that's the basic idea, that religion, God, all these ideas are molded based on our own values. Even strict adherence to orthodox orthodox religious principles there are still minor tweaks that we all make based on our own belief system we cannot be 100 percent aligned with the force of god because we don't know i cannot buy the argument that we have a 100 percent knowing of god we have ideas we've got books we've got that they're cool ideas and i'm definitely not against them I'm for them, as long as they promote my values. See, I'm a selfish person. Love and courage. And of course, love and courage mean different things for me than they mean for you. But I feel that if you're watching this video, our values are pretty closely aligned. So that's why I do like religion, because for the most part, in healthier cultures that don't promote violence, that on the contrary, promote more peaceful values. In those cultures, religion can fuel a lot of good things, and that's why I'm a fan of it. As for me, well, I can't classify myself anymore. I'm a jew -boo, a Jewish Buddhist with a big, healthy serving of New Age spirituality, and I'm basically living my life in a way that aligns with what I believe to be the highest spiritual power. I know there is a divine spiritual element of reality, and I'm doing my best to align myself with that force, whatever that may be. I will never claim to know it 100%. So thank you for watching this video. Please let me know what you think. Love to hear it. Take care.